We have an outstanding jury, an independent jury, that actually makes the final choices. Other than providing the facilitation and the secretariat, we attempt not to get involved or influence the award selection in any manner whatsoever. This award, therefore, have, over a period of time, gained a fair amount of credibility. And we have some of the biggest and the best companies in the country who pitch in and make applications for the award. I want to acknowledge the presence of some of our jury members here. Unfortunately, our chair, Mohan Das Pai, was unable to be here today. He had a, a personal tragedy in the family, so he could not attend. But I would want to thank Dr. Anurag Batra for being here, as also our partner and jury member, Vishesh. Vishesh, thank you very much for being here with us today. It is, it is a celebration of enterprise. It is a celebration of the human enterprise, which is what I believe makes this award special. Because as you just saw, the founder, our father, was a people person right through and through. He did not go to university, but he learned in the university of life. And he and his brothers gathered around them almost like a mission, hundreds and then thousands and then tens of thousands of individuals who built a series of enterprises which in themselves became something special. So this is our way of saying thank you and celebrating what they chose as a core value is relationships and people. Building enterprises based on relationships which were built and retained over a period of time. Working with fairness with all concerned. And doing all of this while being concerned about the environment, both of people and communities around them, as also the physical environment around us, which today, of course, has come into high focus as sustainability. While building multiple businesses which were successful and also global leaders, they accepted many rewards and awards, but always with humility, always with the word that this award is not ours alone. This is an award made up of all of the people, the entire system around us that works and provides a tailwind. In the same vein, we look out for enterprises, companies, both in the private sector and the public sector, both large and small. I will request Vishesh to come and talk to us a little bit about the jury and the process of the award selection that was followed by the jury. Thank you very much. Vishesh. Before Vishesh comes on, I just want to say, we want to take a minute on our chief guest today. I went to meet with him only recently to request him to come for this uh, award and spend this time with us in the evening. I have to share my impression. It was a very interesting conversation. I thought I was going for 30 minutes but after an hour, I think both of us looked at our watches. And it was engaging. It was engrossing. He is a wonderfully erudite, intelligent, well-read, and an incisive mind. I enjoyed the wide variety of subjects that we were covering that evening. It was not just about the awards. It was about the environment, it was about technology, it was about India, it was about society, it was about culture. So thank you very much, Mr. Dhankar. It was truly an enjoyable evening, and I hope we can do this more often, and I hope we will be able to get you to come in and attend our events whenever you have the time. 
I do recognize your schedule is more than busy, but it's the busy people who figure out their priorities, as, as we've seen in life. And you have stood out, not just from your young days, because I believe in your young days you picked up things like cricket and sports, and then went on to become a top Supreme Court advocate in the 90s itself. And you have done some amazing work there. I gather from some of my friends uh, who have seen you work. They speak wonderfully and highly of you, of your character, of your ability to present a situation and do it in a manner that is not offensive, but yet you get your point across every time. So we are fortunate in India to have such an enlightened individual as the Vice President of India. So many congratulations for this new wonderful position, very well-deserved position, and I think congratulations to us as a nation as well. I'm sure all of us will benefit from your being in this position. Thank you very much. Vishesh. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, now we talk about the evaluation process of the BML Manjal Awards and we have Mr. Vishesh Sandhu to take over. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Vice President of India, Shri Dhankar, uh, Sunilji, Pavanji, the entire Munjal family that is here, leaders of corporate India, of course, esteemed jury members, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I have a written script, but I'm probably going to go off script a little bit and just remind you all once again of some of those things which stand out about these awards. I'm a member of various juries. We look at the process that's followed in many awards, but there are some things which stand out. One of those few things is, of course, as Sunilji said, this is something that has now been going on since 2006. Since 2006, 16 straight years, we've had this award. One of those things that stands out for me in this award is that it looks at that area of using training as a differentiator to produce corporate ex excellence. Using training, learning as a real differentiator. And that's what I've seen the jury every year focus on. Are you only presenting your corporate results, ROCE, revenue growth, profit growth, or are you talking about how did you invest in your people to produce what you produced? And I think that goes back to the philosophy of the founder, of that tall man whose name stands behind these awards. My job here is maybe in another couple of minutes to tell you very quickly about the process that is followed. It's a five-step process that is followed. It starts with a call for entries, a call for entries where invitations are sent to various organizations that have consistently featured on the list of various publications. And we receive feedback forms from them where they try and describe to us those interventions that they've made. From that first step of calling for nominations, we then go into a shortlisting process, a rigorous shortlisting process where those entry forms are collated with the support of my team at GT Bharat, at Grant Thornton Bharat, where we screen those forms you know, based on customer delight, based on, of course, financial success. But as I said earlier, the most important fact, their focus on people, their focus on human capital and its development. The third step after calling for entries, shortlisting is select, selecting the finalists from that shortlist and a cross-functional expert panel, a cross-functional expert panel gets together which analyzes and evaluates the data that is provided under each of the award categories to decide who makes up that final shortlist. That goes to the next step, which is really the jury, where the finalists are evaluated by an eminent jury, many of whom are here. Dr. Pai could not make it here. Uh, <clears throat> as uh, we just heard from Mr. Munjal, but that jury then considers that final shortlist in an interactive presentation, and we expect the senior leaders of those organizations to come themselves, not just send you know, their HR uh, managers. We want to hear from the CEOs, we want to hear from the leadership, from the owners of the organization on how they are using 
the people, uh, th their people and their investment in people as a differentiator. And that's what the jury really focuses on every year. So it's, that's the fourth step. And then the fifth step is today, is revealing that you know, short list to you, that final runners up and the winner in each category. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the five-step process, a call for entries, a shortlisting, further shortlisting to finalists, the jury picking the runners-up and the winner, and the big reveal today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we have our esteemed uh, jury members. Can we have a round of applause for Mr. Vishesh Chandyo, Mr. Vipin Sondi, Mr. Atul Sopti, and Dr. Anurag Batra. Ek bari zordar taliyan because it takes a lot. And now we will start with the BML Munjala Awards, but first we'll read out the citations for all the winners. So to present uh, the first set of citations, I would request Mr. Vipin Sondi ji to kindly grace the stage. Can we have Mr. Sondi? Zordar Talia officer. Good evening, uh, Namaskar, Vice President Saab, uh, Sunil Pawan. I just wanted to endorse the jury process was rigorous and uh, truly engaging. I'll read out uh, two citations, uh, the 16th BML Munjal Award for Business Excellence through learning and development for the year 2021 in the private sector services category goes to IBM. As an active partner in the digital and Skill India movement, IBM in India has sought to bridge skill gaps by collaborating with partners, industry associations, and the government. IBM's skill build platform has extensively used technology and teaching to deliver specialized courses encompassing 850,000 learners in 2021. And for its ability to successfully inject energy skill and positivity into skilling, retraining, and upskilling ecosystem, the jury has decided to confer the 16th BML Munjal Awards for Business Excellence through learning and development in the private sector services category on, as I mentioned, IBM. The next award, Under the Business Excellence Through Learning and Development for year 2021 in the private sector manufacturing category goes to Marico Limited. In, in 2020, Marico was recognized as one of India's best companies to work. A key re reason for this recognition has been the strong emphasis on employee outcomes. This has helped Marico successfully prune attrition levels from 30% to between 8 to 12%, a big challenge during these times. Acknowledging the company's capacity to build a future-ready workforce through challenging times and its ability to dovetail people-related investments with business performance, the jury adjudges Marico Limited, the winner in the private sector, manufacturing capacity, for the 16th BML Munjal Award for Business Excellence Through Learning and Development. IBM and Marico, thank you very much. Thank you, Sandi, sir. Now I would request our jury member, Mr. Atul Sopti ji, to kindly grace the stage. Zorda Talia for Mr. Sopti. Good evening, Honorable Pres Vice President of India. Munjals and all the delegates present here. I am going to read citation for two awardees. The first one is the public sector undertaking. The 16th BML Munjal Award for Business Excellence through Learning and Development for the year 2021 in the public sector category goes to Union Bank of India.
Union Bank has trained and developed employees in a manner that they can engage better with the customer, perform frontline functions more efficiently, and handle escalation seamlessly. Union Bank has made sustained efforts to position itself as an innovative, diverse, inclusive, and technology-driven organization by developing best-in-class practices, pedagogy, and infrastructure. Noting this, the jury is pleased to confer the 16th BML Munjal Award for Business Excellence through Learning and Development in the Public Sector category on Union Bank of India. Congratulations, Union Bank of India. The next award I'm going to announce is Emerging Stars, the 16th BML Munjal Awards for Business Excellence through Learning and Development for the year 2021 in the Emerging Star category goes to Turtle Shell Technologies Private Limited. <laughs> Turtle Shell aspires to transform the healthcare industry by providing quality and affordable care while using indigenously tech developed technology with a presence of over 20 plus state and across more than 300 hospitals, Turtle Shell has trained 100 plus employees with the advanced remote patient monitoring program. Turtle Shell has also handheld and mentored more than 2000 nurses. Recognizing the ability to deliver technology skill efficiently and scale quickly, the jury confers the 16th BML Munjal Award for business excellence through learning and development in the Emerging Star category to Turtle Shell Technologies Private Limited. Congratulations to them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our chief guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, Mr. Sunil Khan Munjal, uh, Mr. Pawan Khan Munjal, all the jury members, and some very familiar friends and colleagues. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to announce the award for the emerging stars uh, in the 16th edition of the BML Munjal Awards. Uh, and the first award goes to Zun Roof, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Zun Roof Tech Private Limited. Uh, this is in the learning and development category. And let me tell you what Zun Roof does. Zun Roof has created an IoT-enabled hardware range that includes four categories of smart devices, lighting, security, controls, purifiers. These work on home Wi-Fi with a single app and without any changes in wiring. So it integrates very well with existing legacy systems. Uh, at Zun Roof, they've recognized the usage of skilling and training to call it quickly qualify and train the smart home automation users and grow the smart automation market. The jury confers the 16th BML Munjal Award for business excellence through learning and development in the emerging star category, once again, on Zunroof Tech Private Limited. Uh, please give them a big round of applause. Uh, one, of, one, one of the objectives of the awards is also to bring new companies to the fore, and that's what this award does. Let me now um, talk about an awardee which is a giant. In recent years, Larson and Tuburo has fostered, retained, and developed homegrown talent through a competence assessment model that has been designed internally. LNT has an augmented and strengthened its leadership pipeline through development centers that are focused on business leadership, project leadership, and technical leadership. LNT's business leadership is nurtured through a seven step development process and is focused on long term competency development program. Reco recognizing these investments in people, as well as the efforts to sustain these over a long period of time and institutionalize them, the jury is pleased to confer the BML Munjal Award for Business Excellence Through Learning and Development in the Sustained Excellence category on Larson and Tuburo. Please give LNT a big round of applause. A big thank you to all our jury members and ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to present the BML Munjal Awards 
I would request our chief guest, Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankarji, to grace the stage. I would also request Dr. Pavan Munjalji, Chairman Managing Director, Hero Motor Corp, and Mr. Sunil Khan Munjalji, Chairman, Hero Enterprise, to please join us on stage. Can we have a round of applause for all the three gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, first we start up with the private sector runners-up. The runners-up for private sector, we have the winner, Bajaj Alliance General Insurance. Can we have a round of applause for the runners-up? Can we have the family members, please join us? Taliyan bajte rehni chahiye, garmaish rehti hai. Once again, a humble request to please give a round of applause to our runners-up. Congratulations. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the winner for the private sector, the winner, IBM. Can we have a round of applause for the winners? <laughs> private sector winner, IBM. We have the winners. Congratulations to the ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the private sector manufacturing. First, we have the runners up. And the runners-up are Escorts Kubota Limited. Can we have a round of applause for Escorts Kubota Limited? Look, I think that when the winners don't come to the stage, they should be still there. They will be well wishes. Congratulations. Moving on to our next winner, we have the private sector manufacturing, the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Marico Limited. Congratulations to Marico Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the next category, the PSU. We have the runners up, Gale India Limited. Can we have a round of applause for Gale India Limited? Welcome.
Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the PSU winner. Please put your hands together for Union Bank of India. Congratulations to the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, this particular category has two joint winners, so I'll be calling them one by one. For the emerging star, we have the winner, Turtle Shell Technologies Private Limited. Can we have a round of applause? The Emerging Star Joint Winner, Turtle Shell Technologies Private Limited. And there we have the smiling faces, the winning faces. Congratulations. call upon the joint winner again in the emerging star we have the winner Zonroof Technology Private Limited can we have a round of applause they get Talia Bajter energy ladies and gentlemen Congratulations to Zunroof Tech Private Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a special mention emerging star, Chayos. Can we have Chayos family joining us over here? Big congratulations to all the winners. Ek bari sabhi winners ke liye zor dar taaliyan. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I would request our chief guest, the Honorable Vice President of India, Shri Jagdeep Dhankar ji, to kindly grace the stage and address the gathering. Can we have a round of applause for sir? My greetings to everyone present here. 
I am grateful to the organizers for affording me this opportunity. When I saw through the mechanism that was indicated by Vireshji, transparent, accountable, unimpeachable, all parameters and elements were objectively considered. I thought to myself as a senior advocate, a challenge to this will fail in court at once. <laughs> there can be no greater honor to get a feast like this, the changing profile of India that has been on incremental trajectory in recent years. I saw it and I'm sure that augurs well for all of us. Extremely delighted to be associated with BML Munjal Awards Mind Mind Summit 2022. Very aptly marks post-pandemic repurposing India COVID management earned us laurels all over. It was a very difficult time. But what India has done, perhaps it is unparalleled. The awards are named after a hero who created hero. A hero who now inspires many youngsters, motivates them, and I'm sure all of us will leave duly energized. There can be no better mechanism to develop a country than to make available to the people an ecosystem that allows them to exploit their potential and talent to the fullest. This is working out in recent years and this is having impactful presence in all segments of our societal life. I would recall the observations of one of the finest president of India we had, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, and what he said was, I quote, when learning is purposeful, creativity blossoms. When creati creativity blossoms, thinking emanates. When thinking emanates, knowledge is fully lit. When knowledge is lit, economy flourishes, unquote. You see, we have noticed in recent years impactful presence of our giants, rich human resource, at a global level. The focal role in the success of globally reputed powerhouses, Google, Microsoft, Twitter, IBM, MasterCard, Channel, PepsiCo, Starbucks, to name only a few, they have Indian imprint. They have benefited enormously out of our human resource and genius. With right governmental interventions and resolute, resolute leadership, Bharat has become the fifth largest economy in the world and is on course to become the third largest economy by end of the decade. When Vires was talking and others were reflecting on his script. 
I would slightly deviate from the script, which is a tough task for the position I hold. I could never imagine before I came to this place that startups, innovation skills have taken that dimension, which is serving society at large in such a befitting manner. I recall the days when I became a young lawyer and had difficulty in getting a library in my house. A public sector bank could spare 6,000 rupees to me and that created what I am today. When I disbanded my library, when technology overtook us, I had to send it in two trucks to Jaipur from Delhi. Now what I see, there are no constraints. There are no limitations. The system has risen to a level where you need to have an idea in your mind. You can put it on the ground. I'll give you some instances. As a member of Lok Sabha in 1989, I had the privilege of 50 gas connections to be given every year to anyone I like. And that was a big power in the hands of a member parliament. And the Honorable Prime Minister could think and execute 180 million gas connections free. Imagine where we have come to. As governor of the state of West Bengal, I was amazed that Food Corporation of India, NAFED, were feeding 90 crore people nearly for two years. In Bengal, I monitored it for nine crore people. Now these are things where we need someone like Viresh to put across to the world. I know much of the credit goes to the people sitting here. This number is not statistical to me. I know your power. I know how you exploit potential. I know how you create wealth. I know how you generate employment. And therefore, <clears throat> when as governor of West Bengal, I was heading a group of 10 governors on ease of governance. The other members of my group were more talented and experienced than I was. And we got good assistance from Niti Aayog. In my mind, because of the litigations I have handled, was people from industry, trade, business. Are they getting the respect which they must? Are they not suffering some kind of uncomfortable moments because of governance? And the report focused on that. My good friend, Mr. Sushil Rungta, who has been chairman of Steel Authority of India Limited, I sought his assistance because he had rendered a similar report at the instance of then Planning Commission. I have always wondered, is there a parallel to Indian genius? Indian enterprise, Indian innovation, Indian skill. With my limited experience of having been involved with mega dispute, mega dispute resolutions, 
being connected to them <clears throat> as member international court of arbitration for three years i can tell you we are next to none we need an ecosystem that must not be creating an obstruction i note with great satisfaction that now for last few years an ecosystem is being generated that plays affirmative role i strongly believe that the attainment of the country in becoming the fifth largest economy goes to government and industry acting in synchronized manner and i would urge the tall leaders of the industry and business who are here please be in sync with governmental schemes so that indian economy continues to be on incremental trajectory we have lot many people who are well qualified whom we need to impart skills and skilling has to go down to the villages this morning when an attendant was serving me tea i found him by body language to be very intelligent as is my habit i interact with every human resource who comes in contact with me so i inquired of him i was surprised he was a post graduate a very qualified man can make huge contributions mine is a small establishment that does not have an economic profit and loss balance sheet i will attend to that but if industry looks into those areas in the villages particularly or tier 2 cities i am sure you will get skilled workers in the field of health education apart from other segments now this can be done only in a systemic systemic manner ad hoc situations do not create long term impact when i came to this function i thought it was formal what i saw i would ever cherish i am going from this place really motivated energized to put across your thought wherever i can during a month i have been office i have interacted with the chambers who could spare time i would share what i shared with them i indicated to them that we have a government that means to attain much thousands of years ago we were at peak we need to regain that position please interact with me give me your formulations give me your suggestions and i will act as your foot soldier and that is the role i need to play i will play i wear another hat that could be little more worrisome a challenge chairman rajya sabha i am engaging into extensive discussions if deliberations in rajya sabha if decorum in rajya sabha if contributions in rajya sabha do not inspire your confidence 
do not inspire confidence of impressionable minds. Do not inspire confidence of people who are looking for better India, better conditions. Then we are not in wholesome scenario. I have shared my thoughts with leaders of various political parties, indicated to them, let us have consensual approach so that largest democracy and mother of democracy on earth imparts a categorical, affirmative, societal oriented message from the House of Elders. One to one, there is no disagreement. We are on the same page. The problem lies that what starts as a ripple gets into the menace of a tsunami by high decibel media coverage. Two of the awards given today, if media takes it in high decibel, I can assure you, thinking brains in IITs, IIMs and otherwise will be motivated as never before. If it is backdropped by the, I would say, super objective selection mechanism for which chairman and members of the jury have to be gratified, this will generate. Anything which is good, impactful, positive, affirmative, in help of society finds place, certainly not on the first page. I would therefore avail the opportunity that fourth pillar of democracy, a great stakeholder in governance, to serve the public interest at large, they must have an apportionment some kind of reservation that this time is reserved, the top slot is reserved for good things we have done, the achievements we have accomplished. A challenge which I have noticed of late and which comes from brilliant minds who served this nation at one point of time or other they will, they will engage into a politics of a different kind. Anywhere from the globe, a voice will be raised. Indian economy is not in good shape. Total disconnect with the ground reality. Total disconnect with the banking inclusivity of 250 million people at that particular point of time. Totally unmindful of the situation and 900 people were fed free for nearly two years, totally ignoring how the village scenario is changing, totally ignoring. And there is no responsive stance from others. This is a time which is a turning point of our history. This is a time when the world has taken India and Indians more seriously as never before. This is a time when our leadership enjoys high credibility and respect. If at this time, our brilliant minds all are before me in one segment, in other segments, they must always keep only one interest in mind. And that interest is interest of Bharat. Lot is to be done. Lot is to be attained. And technology for a change can make things affordable. Like education, health, hygiene. I was surprised when I went to my village four years ago, a turning point, I keep on going regularly, I found 
connectivity in the village 4G was more effective than it was in Delhi. That is changing profile. I am grateful. I wouldn't take more time. But individually and otherwise, I seek your indulgence by way of appropriate inputs, either institutionalized or otherwise, so that I can really discharge my obligations as Vice President of India and Chairman Rajya Sabha to subserve larger public interest. Once again, I am grateful to Munjal family for affording me this great opportunity on two counts. One, the nature, dimension, depth of the awardees. And two, it has afforded me an opportunity of interfacing with all of you. And I'm sure this will go a long way in shaping course of actions and steps that I need to take. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Thank you, sir. Can we have a round of applause for our honorable chief guest? <laughs> sir, I would request uh, Sunil ji also to join. Pavan ji, sir, if you could please join us. Uh, there's one special award. Uh, this is the Sustained Excellence Award. The winner, Larson and Tubro Limited. Can we please have you on stage? Can we have a round of applause for LNT? Zorda Talia, LNT, please. Congratulations. Sustained Excellence, Special Award, Larson and Tugro Limited. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a token of our gratitude for blessing us with your presence. We have a special memento for our Honorable Chief Guest. Can we have a round of applause for Sir? Thank you, Sir. For gracing us with your presence. Talia, they can Zorda Roni Ji. I would request Sunil Ji to kindly present the vote of thanks. This is just to say a big thank you. Thank you to sir. Thank you to the jury members. Thank you to our guests this evening. Thank you to all the attendees who spent the day with us. And many congratulations to the outstanding companies who are the winners of the awards. This is a hard fought award. So many, many congratulations. Please take back our best wishes. Keep up the great work. And allow, please allow more and more companies to learn from you. Demonstrate and show what you are doing as best practices to others to learn from as well. That itself is a learning for all of us. A big thank you. All the very best. Thank you. Can you all please stay in your positions? Uh, we are about to start with the